How's it going on guys, Tibus20 here and today we're back with a brand new weapon review video and we're going to be reviewing the Bombardier weapon. So basically the Bombardier weapon is the last tier prize of this event, the new weapon of this event, which you get it on tier 8. I really, I really have to say this took so much time to complete, like insanely long time and the weapon isn't worth it for the time that we've sp that you spend on playing the event. But I managed to get it with a times 10, it even took so much time with a times 10 multiplier, I had a times 10 head. So yeah, let's just go on multiplayer, review it and let's see how good it is actually. I've played one game with it and I saw it isn't that good, but let's go in mo missions and see. So let's go Sandtown right now. It has three bullets. And it's, it's like a grenade launcher, it has three bullets. And also, yeah, basically you have to, the reload speed is bad, as you can see. But three bullets, like, a, like the grenade launcher, like the grenade launcher. So basically you just spam the bullets, and, and it's one shot to missions. Have one grenade, but I don't know if it's going to be one shot in, team, in multiplayer, we have to go find out and see. But it's one shot in missions. But I'm also I also I'm also using glass can as you can see right here. Where is it? Masteries. I'm also using glass can. So the best thing I found out with this weapon, what you have to do is you have to just make them pile up in missions at least. Make them pile up so you can uh, so you can kill them because when they piled up you can get the multi kills. I'll show you what I mean. Basically, let's reload here. All right. So as you can see. You just stay in this place that I am right now. You don't want to spawn from behind. You just stay in this place right now that I am, and you just and you just kill them like that. You, you don't you don't aim on them because it doesn't have auto aim as weapon. It's like exactly as a grenade launcher with three bullets. I don't know why they made it so hard to get in the final tier prize. This is just like a grenade launcher, they and they made it so hard. I don't, I don't really know why they did that. I really don't know why, uh, guys, I really don't know. This isn't a good weapon at all. It, it's a fun weapon, man. It's a good trolling weapon, to be honest. Like, it's it's a fun, like, grenade weapon, but it isn't a, a weapon I would play. Only when I'm playing for fun, I would play with this weapon. I wouldn't play it when I'm playing seriously to complete an event or anything like that. You see, look, look how bad. Oh, my God. So, let's see how many kills we got. 33 to 0. Okay, it's not that bad, but like, but like, it's still pretty bad. It's still pretty bad. Alright, so let's go in free for all, test it out. Let's see what the people that are doing the event, how it's gonna perform against them. Alright, so I went ahead in free for all. And basically, I joined a new lobby. I, like, all this time I wanted a new lobby, and I wasn't getting one. But basically, I just came one second and joined a new lobby, which is crazy. Because like all this time I was playing the event, I was getting tryhard full, like, silver prestige lobbies. And now I just joined one lobby and everyone's a noob in the lobby. Like, <laughs> this game is absolutely trolls. I think it's not going to be one shot against, against pro players. We have to wait and see. Let's see if a pro player joins. But yeah, close range, you can also get yourself killed with this weapon. Yeah, it really isn't that good at all. The three bullets is the killer. If if it had like twenty bullets and you could spam, and the fire rate is also bad. It has bad fire rate, no auto, no auto aim. It's just, it's, oh my god, like. So yeah, that's what it has: bad fire rate, no auto aim, weak, the actually decent damage. That's the only good thing I say. Decent damage, that's the only thing. But I'm also having glass cannon. It's actually, no, it's weak damage, it's weak damage, not decent damage. Because I'm also using glass cannon, imagine without glass cannon. And like, if it's not exactly on him, it doesn't even kill him. Okay, so let's go to this silver procedure guy. And let's see if we can kill him. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it one shot scene. A close range, I so. Okay, I would say, I would say, I would say decent damage to be honest. To be fair, average damage, average. We got ten kills in a row, though. It's not that bad. I'm starting to change my opinion on this weapon. Did he die? Where is? He? Yeah, I'm starting to change my opinion on this weapon. Actually, to be honest. Yeah, now that I learned a bit how to play with it. It's a it's a skill based weapon. It's a skill based weapon. So, so there's thirty seconds, and we also joined late game if you think about it. No, he killed us. Come on, we would have gotten zero deaths. My God. It's not that bad of a weapon, to be honest. It's not that bad of a weapon. I'm also gonna do my conclusion now. So let's see how many kills we got and we do the conclusion. And you can see I finished the event. It got 16 kills, one death. But it was a full noob lobby and like two or one prestige guy. Alright, so let's leave this lobby right now. So this weapon this weapon right here. Should you get it? Like do I recommend you guys to grind the tears? If you have the times 10 and if you're like in tier 7, yeah, sure, why not? But like if, if you, because there's only one day in 16 hours left. If like you really, you really don't want to play, like, do, like uh, are in tier 1 or something, I would recommend you guys to go and up in tier 8. But the, if you've played enough and you have the times 10 multiplier, yeah, do, grind. If you don't have a times 10 multiplier, I wouldn't recommend you guys to grind for this weapon. Yeah, if you have the timestamp weapon, I would recommend you guys to grind just to get it for fun. So the conclusion. The only good thing I can think is decent damage. That's the only good thing I think with this weapon. The bad things are, and good range, and good range. Decent damage, and infinite range, to be honest. The bad things are. The bad things are, bad fire rate, no auto-aim, slow reload, Small bullet, uh, small ammo count. So basically, that's all for this weapon. This is the conclusion of this weapon. As you can see, it doesn't have many good stuff, but I would say it's a fun weapon. I would use it sometimes. I wouldn't like make it a primary weapon. I would just use it sometimes just to troll people and stuff, or maybe like show that I have grinded so much because it took so long these tiers, like probably 30 hours of playing to get it. So. I would recommend this web. I wouldn't recommend this weapon if you don't have the times ten multiplier. If you have the times ten multiplier, this is what I mean—the times ten multiplier head, right here that gives you times ten points for the event. I would recommend to you guys to grind for it. But if you don't have it, don't waste your time. You only have one day and six hours left, and it's not really worth it. So that was it for this video. Thank you guys for all the support lately. We're every day getting closer to reaching my a thousand subscriber sub goal. Thanks for watching this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, peace.